understanding more about the triangle and its parts, today we will learn about the altitude of a triangle. Sometimes in a triangle, it is necessary Find the distance between a vertex and its opposite side. Suppose we are given triangle PQR and have to find its height. That is, we have to find the distance between the vertex P and the side QR. To find the distance, we can make line segment in different ways. Do all these give us the correct information about the distance between the vertex P and its opposite side QR or say the height of the triangle? Think about it. No, not all of them give us correct information. From the vertex P, to find the height of a triangle, we draw a perpendicular to its opposite side QR, which intersects the side QR at point J. A perpendicular drawn from a vertex to its opposite side is called an altitude of the triangle. Here line segment PJ is of altitude of the triangle PQR that forms a right angle on the side QR. This gives us the distance between the vertex and its opposite side. That is height of a triangle. Now let's learn the method of making altitudes. Step 1. Suppose we have to draw the altitudes of the side BC from vertex A in triangle ABC. Step 2. For this, we will draw an arc from point A to the side BC by taking a convenient radius in the compass which will intersect the side BC at point D and E. If necessary, you can extend the opposite arm from the vertex. Step 3. Without changing the radius in the compass, with the points D and E as centers, we will draw two arcs cutting each other in the side opposite to the vertex A. Suppose both arcs intersect at point F. Step 4. Now we will connect A to the point of intersection F. AF is perpendicular to BC. Suppose line segment AF intersects BC at point P. The new line segment AP is the altitude from vertex A to opposite side BC. Just imagine how many altitudes a triangle can have. Absolutely right! Just as we have created altitudes from vertex A to side BC, similarly we can also draw altitudes from vertex B to side AC and from vertex C to side AB. That is, a triangle can have three altitudes. Since this is an acute triangle, you can see that all altitudes are in the interior of the triangle. Now you can take a paper and draw obtuse angled triangle on it. Draw all the altitudes in it. Do you get all altitude in the interior of the triangle? Find out by pausing the video. If we talk about an obtuse angled triangle, we can draw altitudes in this way. As you can see, the altitudes in an obtuse angled triangle can also be in the exterior of the triangle. Similarly, if we talk about a right angled triangle, then its two sides are perpendicular to each other. This means that both the sides are also the altitudes of the triangle. And the third altitude can be obtained at the hypotenuse of the triangle by drawing a perpendicular from vertex to it. Today we learned about the altitudes of a triangle. In the next video, we will see examples related to the parts and types of triangles.